Hey guys, it's me, Ashley, and welcome back to Courtney and I's channel. Alright guys, so I am back this week and I decided that I wanted to do a sit down and talk video and honestly Courtney kind of inspired me with her last video and I think for this video I kind of just want to like talk about mental health and um, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> so when I watched Courtney's last video, I was really proud of her because for Courtney to say something that like means something to her, I know it takes a lot. and. I don't know, I'm just always proud of her when I like hear her speak her mind and um, you know, show who she is as a person because she's a beautiful person um, and she's my best friend. <laughs> but her and I both struggle with mental health and I think it's like a topic that we want to talk about because for this YouTube channel, I really think we want to build a community where we can like love and support each other and tell each other our problems and it's not something that anyone should have to feel embarrassed about or you know say stories that they've been through and that's okay because you have someone to listen to you kind of thing so for Courtney and I like this channel is just kind of like therapeutic for us because we kind of document our journey as people and then like hoping that we can share that with other people as well um, but yeah I just w kind of wanted to sit down and talk about mental health because I've been sh I've been struggling lately I've been kind of like sad lately um, I've had a lot going on. I probably won't go into detail. Um, maybe I will, like, not in this video, but maybe in, like, a future video when, like, things have calmed down. But yeah, so, like, I've recently been going through a lot, and I feel like when you're sad, people try and, like, tell you how to be or tell you how to act. And it's kind of hard because, like, you, at the end of the day, are the person that knows you. And hopefully you have someone, like, I have Courtney, that knows you almost as well as you know yourself I would say she probably knows me just as much um, so if you're sad and like going out with your friends is what works for you then do that or if you're like me like I'm the kind of person that when I'm sad I literally want to be sad like I just want to be sad and I feel like a lot of times people are like oh like that's not healthy like go get your mind off of it but sometimes like it's okay just to be there and I have a lot of people in my life who you know, try and have me go out and do things and I know their intentions are like their best for me. And I know they're not doing it by like any means, but when I sit down and I talk to Courtney, she's like, yeah, like just be sad. Like if that's what you need to do, just know like you can call me if you need me kind of thing or she'll sit there and talk to me. Um, or if I don't want to talk at all, I don't have to. And I think it's really important at the end of the day to know yourself and know what works best for you. and. I will say like going out for me personally works to a certain extent. I think like the initial couple days when whatever I'm going through is what I'm going through, I just want to be sad because I have to process my own emotions. But then like once I'm sad for a bit, I'm like, okay, I need to go out and do things and get my mind off of it. I don't think there's always just one answer because like me, I'm kind of like half and half. Like um, sometimes I need to go out and do something. And it's I think it's really important too to have a friend who can sit there and you know be like, if this is what you feel you need to do, then do that. Or like give you words of encouragement because for me, like Courtney's my rock. Like Courtney's that person for me where I can sit her, like tell her, you know, give her everything, tell her what I'm dealing with. And she will know, like do what she thinks is in best interest for me and give my opinion. And then I'll like kind of, we'll kind of bounce back and forth off of each other until like we come to a conclusion that we think works for us or you know just be like a listening ear but I don't know I guess what I what I kind of want to say is just like if you are sad or like whatever you're dealing with at the moment like I think it's really important to spend time with yourself and figure out what makes you happy and that's why I think self care is so important and if you're like if you're so busy like me you're doing work you're doing school or say you got a lot going on and you just feel like you don't have enough time in that in the day like find time in the day like I know it's there somewhere like I you know I say to myself oh, I'm busy like I don't have a second and like realistically I don't but like I do like you know there's time like for example today I should probably be doing homework but I got up had coffee, piddled around, and kind of just did my own thing, and I will get to my homework kind of thing. It's kind of one of those things where 
you have to know and trust yourself and be like, okay, if I take this time for myself, just know I'll get to that. Put a little faith in yourself. You know you better than anyone. And if you don't think you will, get that done first and see if you have any leftover time. Um, so I, I don't even know what this video is supposed to be about. <laughs> I think it's just like me saying like, just sit down with yourself and like figure out what works best for you. And if you don't know, get an opinion from a friend. If you feel like you have no friends in the world, well, I can talk to you, Courtney can talk to you, anyone can talk to you. Um, I think it's really important that you don't feel alone. Um, and if like people are worried about you being alone when you're being sad or anything like that, just like know what works for you best. Like have, like your friends have their best intentions out for you, you have, you need to have your best intentions out for you. Um, and know that like whatever you're going through will get better because I know like right now I may be sad but I know I've been sad multiple times before and I've made it through. Um, I believe that we're all fighters at heart and that if we're sad now, we know it's not always gonna be that way. It's just like figuring out what works best for you and taking the time for yourself. And like, I know if I'm sad, I like to sit down, wallow in it a bit, maybe watch some TV, get my mind off of it. Um, you know, I will like paint my nails or you know, do a bubble bath or something like that. Sometimes cleaning helps me. Um, I feel like, I feel like when my life is disorganized or if my house is like not organized, then I clean it and I'm like, oh, maybe that'll help my life even though it probably doesn't, but like it's fun to like feel that way, I guess. I don't know, I feel a lot of achievement after I clean my house because then I feel like I organized what I can't organize up here. Um, yeah. This was kind of just like a sit down, ramble, talking video. Um, kind of got inspired slash copied off Courtney. <laughs> but uh, that's something I love about Courtney and I's relationship is I feel like we inspire each other a lot. And I don't know, like I could honestly make a video, a Courtney appreciation video about why she's like the best thing ever. And maybe I will if you guys would want me to or if I decide to one day. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to sit down, talk with you guys get some things off my chest um maybe I needed to hear this from myself kind of thing maybe you needed to hear this today um but yeah you and I will just keep up trying to live this thing we call life and yeah I will see you guys in the next one have a beautiful week stay safe and I love you guys <laughs>